In the early 1980s, home computing was booming around the world as millions of people bought their very first machine from the likes of Commodore, Sinclair, Acorn or Atari. Today it's easy to be amused at how primitive those computers seem, with their blocky graphics, tiny memories, beepy sounds and sometimes eccentric design features. Yet in their day, they were an extraordinary creative medium. Simple yet very powerful too and open to experimentation by programmers who learned to push them far beyond what their designers expected, particularly when it came to creating games. What I want to do today is a small contest. So we have two candidates built in the 1980s. We have the notorious ZX Spectrum and the Commodore C64. Now I'm going to be using a simple basic program for calculating prime numbers less than 1000 and see which one of the two candidates does it faster. Now, to get accurate results, I'm not emulating the computers, I'm actually using the real machines from the 1980s. As it was common for home computers of the early 1980s, both computers come with a basic interpreter in ROM, which means it's built in a read-only memory. So, this is more of a comparison of the speed of these basic interpreters rather than one of the 6502 processor vs the C80 processor. Microsoft BASIC isn't known for being really fast. Maybe a machine code test would be best, but at this point I simply want to see which one of the two machines do it faster. So let's type in the program. I have here a Commodore C64 hooked up to the small 1802 CRT monitor and the Sinclair ZX Spectrum Plus 2 hooked up to the big TV on the wall. So let's type in the program. So we have the program typed in on the Commodore. So now we're going to select 128 Basic and type in the same program into the ZX Spectrum. I've got the program typed in on the Commodore C64 as well as on the ZX Spectrum. So I'm going to type in run on both computers and I will hit return at the same time on both of them in 3, 2, 1, go. So we're 53, 59, only 41 on a Sinclair. I need to hit scroll on the Sinclair, but still, it's way behind. So Commodore is going way faster. And now it's going even slower and slower. We're only up at 151, 157. And on the Commodore, we're up to 350 almost. So I think it's, it's, it's pretty clear. The Commodore C64 or the basic interpreter, it's much faster than the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. So we all saw it, we have a winner. It's the Commodore C64. I don't like to admit it because the ZX Spectrum was the computer of my childhood in the late 80s and early 90s. But as you saw, the C64 is much faster. I'm not sure if it's a 6502 processor or it's the basic interpreter that runs faster. But anyways, it's been fun. So, see you next time. Are you keeping up with the Commodore? Because the Commodore is keeping up with you. This year, Commodore's family pack is more value than ever. You get an education in computers with the new Commodore 64, all these extras, plus four very realistic games, like Le Mans Formula One Racing, One Day Cricket Match, and the Armchair Official America's Cup Computer Game. The new Commodore 64 Family Pack, $499, keeping you ahead in the game of life.